We are less than one week away now until the Florence Y'all's first exhibition game. This year's schedule is packed with entertainment and promotions and the things that frankly only the y'alls do. General Manager Max Johnson joins me. Marketing and fan experience manager Hannah Roden is here too. They're going to preview the season for us. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so, so you know, part of what we talked about during the commercial break there is something that you are working with obviously every day, but you both are. That fan experience, boy, that's what it, what it's all about when it comes to the y'alls. Yeah, right? um, you know, you come out to a ballpark and, you know, the the fans and you know the kids that get to have the best time. Our kid zone's bigger and better than ever, um, so we're bringing a lot of new things into the ballpark. We actually have a mall, like where there's trains that you have in the mall yeah. that drive around. It's going to go around the ballpark for kids to ride on this year. They will so eat that up. Adding another element for you know kids to have fun while the game's going on. Hannah, for you, how much fun is it in your position that that is sort of your sole focus, right? Is to, yeah. is to make sure the fans are just having a heck of a good time. I mean, I think it's so fun. One, I think I watched minute to win it like constantly for the past couple of weeks just to try and find the best games find that I new can things yeah have for our fans um and having it family friendly you know we have like pie my dad so a little kid gets to pie his dad in the face what's so fun could possibly be better than that <laughs> um you know and, and it's obviously a fun game on the field as well Let, let's get into that just a little bit yeah. as, you, as you head into the season i know playoffs haven't been in the picture the last couple of seasons what do you do to try to get into the playoffs and, and extend that season extend the amount of fun that fun's fans can have coming out yeah um so we've made a long strides over the past uh, few months and definitely down to the wire here the past couple weeks um, picking up guys who you know are next level and kind of you know um, can they take us to that kind of next spot get us back to that championship contending uh, kind of team that we were um, prior to the past previous years and we brought in a couple you know local players as well as that's some uh, international players to help us to you know, achieve that goal well the thing that's so fun I think is that at the level in which you play these are these are guys who they love the game they, yeah. they are all about the, the, the passion of the game. How, how much fun is it to work with, with guys who, you know, that, that dream that they've probably had since they were four or five years old, that is something they're still pursuing. Yeah, you know, you definitely kind of see that pro athlete mentality and you understand why uh, you're not playing sports anymore because yeah. you don't have that drive, but they do. And it's, yeah. it's great and they're great. And, uh, you know, they're out there fighting for um, you know, a spot right now in camp. Yeah. Um, and, you know, so they're, they're out there every day. You know, they're there at nine in the morning. They're there until five, six, seven o'clock at night. Um, they're ready to go. They're ready to, you know, get on the field. They're ready to put that y'all's jersey on and represent the city and, you know, have put on some good entertainment for the fans as well. That is so right on. I, I can still I can still remember specifically the first time I ever saw a curveball in my life. Yeah. And it was that moment I knew I would yeah. never play baseball again. <laughs> um, so let's get into the exhibition season a little bit. What's going on as we lead into those those first couple of regular games? What's going yeah. on in the exhibitions? Um, on April 30th, we have a food drive. We're pairing up with Gold Star and Free Store Food Bank. Love um, it. So you bring in a couple cans, you get a free ticket to the game. And then that game on May 3rd is a teddy bear toss. So you bring in a teddy bear, you get to throw them all on the dugout. We were going to attempt the field, but it might be a little too much for all of us out there. So teddy bear toss. You get them all picked up probably with the yeah. amount you'll get. Yeah. For the I know the, cyclone, the Cyclones do something like that mm -hmm. as well, and I know that's always hugely yeah. successful. So that's, that's cool. And then the promotional nights. Yeah. People eat that stuff up. They and do. I, I know you got some great themes coming. Yeah, up. Yeah, um, you know we got Star Wars night coming back. Margaritaville night is a great night for you know the parents as well to come out and enjoy some games. Um, superhero night is back, um, and some many more and some other new promotions that we're bringing in. Um, check it out on our website. Um, but you know we're excited for 2024 to you know just bring more entertainment uh, for the summer. And one other thing I'm going to let you hit before we before we let you go, the affordability of it all. Yeah. I, I would say for a lot of people, especially in times we're living in right now, where you know money's tight and everything else, that's still key to what you're doing. Yeah, and, uh, Tuesday nights, uh, it's two dollar tickets, two dollar hot dogs, uh, two dollar soda. Um, so you got you know the good night to get in there, but then you know on you know Wednesday nights we do dollar dogs, Thursdays is thirsty Thursday dollar beers, two dollar twenty ounce beers, and then the you know the, the affordable entertainment on a Friday night for, with a game and a fireworks show at the end, um, you know kind of puts it all together to end the week out. Uh, so you can bar you can barely you're gonna pay that if you go watch your uncle play a softball game on a Thursday. Uh, guys, thank you for coming in. We, we, we appreciate it. Have a, have a great season. We'll probably check yeah. in again along the way at yeah, some point, and we'll get more information up at local12.com. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.